All right, welcome back to our series on more traditional statistical inference. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the normal distribution and how we can fit the normal distribution to our existing data. And for demonstration purposes, we're gonna use a version of the card draw data set that we collected in the previous video on significance. All right, so we are here in um, Google Colab. Uh, we're using these libraries up here. So we've got NumPy, Pandas, Plot9, and SciPy Stats. And we're gonna use the SciPy Stats library to generate and fit normal distributions. The documentation can be found here and also linked in uh, the pages. And in particular, we're gonna use the stats.norm.pdf to fit a normal distribution to the data. So I copied down some code from the significance level test uh, where we drew six red cards in a row. And I am just gonna multiply it by 10 so that we have a sufficiently large data set. We've got 60 data points then. And then we conducted a binomial test, calculated the proportion, and converted that into a data frame. And so to fit a normal distribution, we need to know two values. We need to know the mean and the standard error. These are the two main parameters that control the, the shape of a normal distribution. So we always need to find them. So we can say the mean R for red is just P hat DF, the hat dot mean. And then likewise, the SE R for red is P hat the F. P hat dot STD. I made a typo right there. And then to show these, we can print the mean. is just mean R. We can print the standard error and go ahead and run that code. So we can see that the average p hat was 0.5 um, and that the standard error is 0.06. And these are proportions. So this makes sense when we run our binomial distribution, we expect it to be centered around whatever our um, null hypothesis assumption is, which in this case was 0.5. So before we can then visualize this normal distribution, we need to create new data that fits this, uh, fits the normal distribution to our existing data. And so we say p hat data frame, a new column called x underscore pdf, this is the x variables of our normal distribution. And so to create them, they're just evenly spaced variables. So we say np numpy.lin space. And in this case, you give it the first value, the second value, and how many data points you want. So in other words, this will give us 1,000 evenly spaced data points between 0 and 1. And then we also need a y variable. So y pdf, and this needs to be p hat df. And this is where we actually fit the normal distribution. We say stats.norm.pdf. And then we give it the x values that we already created x underscore pdf. We give it the location, which is the mean value, and we give it the scale, which is the standard error value. So then those run as expected. We can now look at what p hat looks like if we just, you know, print the first five rows. 
we can see that we've got our proportions here, and then we've got our x values that run from 0 to 1,000, or 0 to 1, with 1,000 in between. And then we've got the PDF values that are associated with these x values, but follow the same shape as p hat. So then we can go ahead and visualize this. And so we'll do ggplot with our p hat data frame. And the first thing that we're going to plot is a dot plot. So we'll say gehome.plot aes x equals p hat and dot size is 0 0.25. So I'll go ahead and run this to give you a look about what this looks like. So we've got a fairly normal-esque distribution of our data points. So to add the actual normal distribution onto it, we can add a line plot, say geom line, AES, and our X value is just that X PDF, and our Y value is the Y PDF. And then we can say color equals red, and I'm gonna add a size equal to one, make it show up a little better. Um, so here, that should be X. And so now we can see how this normal distribution looks with our actual data. So we've got our actual data in these black dots, and then we've got this normal distribution. And what has been done with this um, Y stats norm PDF, which created Y PDF, is we specified the center of the normal distribution to be centered on the mean value of our real data and the standard error, the spread of this normal distribution to be equal to our sampling distribution. And therefore, we can see what this idealized normal distribution would look like, and therefore can look at where we're maybe overestimating normal, where it's less normal, and where it's possibly more normally distributed.